to cover how to manually sync your firing computer's clock to your show soundtrack clock uh, in the case that you don't have time code being fed to your computer to perform that sync up automatically. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to power the system on. Uh, we don't have a firing uh, cable plugged in right now, so we're just going to be simulating going into auto fire which is choice one in your operating mode section here. As usual, it's gonna ask you if they, to ensure that the firing site is clear and safe. Once you verify that, go ahead and turn the key to arm the system. And when we do this manual sync up uh, with no time code, we're gonna run on internal clock mode. So that's choice zero. So we're gonna hit zero and what we've done is programmed what we call dummy cues into the script. So as usual, we have one minute of pre-roll in the soundtrack, which means there's one minute of no fireworks and no music. And that gives you a minute essentially to synchronize your firing computer with the show music. And so in this case, we have programmed dummy cues at 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and 45 seconds, which is within that one minute of pre-roll. And what a dummy queue is, is it's an event that has a time but no address associated with it. So it's not going to actually fire anything at that time. And the way we utilize that, so once we've gone into auto fire and internal clock mode, we're going to hit fire, which you can see starts running your clock. We're going to hit pause, and then we're going to hit the down arrow, and that takes us to our first dummy queue at 15 seconds. You're going to have coordinated ahead of time how you're going to communicate with your DJ in regards to running this uh, synchronization. So if you're waiting at 15 seconds, you would instruct your DJ to tell you when he's rolling tape and then count uh, according to his CD clock up to 15, which is where you're waiting at your dummy queue. So as an example, he'd tell you over the radio or phone, Okay, Pyro, I'm rolling tape. One, two, three, four. And he'd count up to 15, so 13, 14, and at 15, you're gonna hit fire because that's where you were waiting. And now your computer clock is in sync with the soundtrack clock that the DJ was calling off. For some reason, it gets messed up. You can always pause again arrow down to your next dummy queue. That essentially allows you to skip forward in time very quickly to be waiting for him if he's counting again. So let's say it was already past our second dummy queue at 30 seconds, we could have jumped down to our third dummy queue at 45 seconds, be waiting there. Just tell your DJ, just keep counting. And when he gets to 45, you would hit fire just the same way you did at 15. So 43, 44, 45, and now your show or your uh, computer clock is in sync with your soundtrack clock.